Subtopic 2.5 Gases Exchange in Plants All living things, including plants, carry out respiration. During respiration, oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is removed. During the day, besides respiration, plants also carry out photosynthesis by taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen. Mechanism of Gases Exchange in Plants Most plants carry out the process of gases exchange through their leaf stems and roots. These three parts provide a large surface area for gases exchange. Gases exchange in plants is shown in figure 2.17. Step 1 function of the area roots of mangrove plants is shown in the photograph on the right. Here, under the ground, the soil is not able to support or provide enough oxygen to the roots, and therefore, this root system outgrows aerial roots which grow vertically up to the fresh air above the soil. So, these aerial roots can transport oxygen to the roots underground. During the day, photosynthesis and respiration occurs in plants. During night, only respiration occurs. Photosynthesis does not occur because no presence of sunlight. During the day, carbon dioxide is absorbed to the plant for photosynthesis and oxygen will be released. And oxygen also will be absorbed by the plant for respiration and will release carbon dioxide as the product of respiration. During the night, oxygen will be absorbed by the plant for respiration and carbon dioxide will be released. Diffusion of carbon dioxide Okay, what is the structure in leaf that allow gases to diffuse either into or out of plant cells into the atmosphere? The structure in leaf that shows the pathway of gases action is as shown in figure 2.18. The diffusion of carbon dioxide occurs through the stoma according to the difference in concentration of carbon dioxide in the cells and in the air spaces between the cells during photosynthesis. Do you remember what is diffusion? Diffusion is the process of movement of particles from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. When carbon dioxide is used in photosynthesis, the concentration of carbon dioxide in cells becomes lower compared to the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air space between the cells. This difference in concentrations allows the dissolved carbon dioxide in the moist surface of cells to diffuse from the air space between the cells into the cells. This causes the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air space between the cells to become lower compared to the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air outside the stoma. This difference in concentrations causes the diffusion of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the air space between the cells through the stoma which is open. So this is the key. Okay, carbon dioxide, okay, the red color arrow and oxygen, the blue dotted arrow. Okay, it shows the movement of oxygen gas. So this is a critical upper epidermis, palisade mesophyll cell, xylem, firm, spongy mesophyll cell, stoma, cut cell, lower epidermis, air space between cells. So this is the leaf structure. Vascular bundle consists of xylem and phloem. Xylem is transport water. Phloem is the tissue which is transport food or sugar in the plants. So critical and epidermis. So this is mesophyll palisades layer, mesophyll spongy layer. So the transpiration and the gas exchange. Okay, so the high concentration of oxygen and H2O. H2O is water. Okay, so this is stoma. Okay, so uh, diffusion occur from high concentration to lower concentration. So this is the movement of oxygen and water. Okay, from the leaf to atmosphere through the stoma. Okay, and this is the cut cell, okay, which control the opening and closing of stoma. Okay, and then the high concentration of carbon dioxide from the outside enter the leaf from the stoma. Okay, because in here in the leaf there are low concentration of carbon dioxide. So this is the structure of stoma and cut cell under the microscope. Okay, if you can see here the opening of stoma. Okay, stoma is tiny. 
for. Okay, this place where the exchange of gases occur. So this is stoma, when the stoma is open, when the stoma is closed. So gut cells control the size of the stoma for gases exchange. So here nucleus, chloroplast, okay, the green pigment in the leaf, vacuole, gut cell and cell wall. Okay, because this is a plant cell, so consists cell wall. So this is the shape of stoma, when the stoma is open, especially during the day. Okay, and this is the stoma when it is closed. Okay. So now we look at parts of leaf, okay, gut cells. A pair of epidermal cells that are bean shaped surround a stoma and contain chloroplast. Function of the gut cell is to control the size of the stomata and carry out photosynthesis. Stoma is tiny opening at the lower epidermis surrounded by gut cells. Its function is to allow gases exchange or diffusion of carbon dioxide and oxygen between air spaces in the spongy mesophyll cells and the surrounding atmosphere. Alright, so the effect of osmosis on stoma. So now we look at what is osmosis. Okay, osmosis is the process of water molecules diffused from the region of low concentration of solution to a region of high concentration of solution through semi-permeable membrane. Okay, semi-permeable membrane means small molecule can pass through it. Okay, so here we have two partition. Okay, so in here is high concentration of sugar in this but consists of low concentration of sugar, solution or dilute or and concentrated. Okay, as you can see here, the illustration, the red color shows the sugar molecules. Okay, and the blue color shows water molecules. Okay, so you see the arrow here. Okay, means the osmosis means the molecule move from the lower concentration to the higher concentrations. Okay, so the effect. Okay, we can see water molecules passes through but not sugar. As you can see here, one, two, three uh, molecule of sugars here. Okay, so uh, after the osmosis, okay, the molecule of sugars remain in this partition. Okay, only water molecules move to the other side. Okay, from lower to higher concentration. Okay, gut cells surround the stomata, control opening and closing. Stomata singular, stoma. Okay, stomata plural, singular is stoma. Okay, is small openings in the epidermis that allow gases, carbon dioxide, oxygen and water to diffuse into and out of the leaf. So, this is condition when the stoma is closed and this is condition when the stoma is open. Stoma is open during the day to carry out photosynthesis. Stoma closed at night because the gut cells become flaccid. There, there is no photosynthesis. Okay, because at night there is no sunlight. Now we look at acid rain. Okay, what causes acid rain is formed? Okay, so it comes from the nitrates from vehicle exhaust, sulfate from coal burning. Okay, both gases dissolve in water, causing the pH of rain to lower. And the effects of acid rain, it will damage the plant leaf. It will dissolve important minerals in the soil. And it will lower the pH of water below the limit of tolerance. Importance of unpolluted environment for the survival of plants. The environment, especially unpolluted air, is very important to ensure the growth and survival of plants. Effects of haze and dust on the survival of plants. If the surrounding is hazy and dusty, the polluted air will be harmful to the growth and survival of plants, as shown in the article on page 71. Visit the website and study the article published. Other than reducing sunlight from breaching the plants and reducing the rate of photosynthesis, haze and dust that settle on stomata prevent gases exchange between plants and their surroundings. What will happen to a plant if its stomata are clogged with dust? Now we look at the diagram. Cells become abnormal. Rates of growth reduce. 
root systems damage. Regeneration reduced. Early leaf and needle loss. Crown dieback necrosis of leaf tissues. Biomass soil fertility reduced. Leaf nutrients leach. Bacterial activity inhibited. Okay, now answer for motive practice 2.5 in your exercise book 2.